Thank you so much for allowing me to come up here and speak, Janelle. My name is Gio Visco. I was actually born and raised here in Riverside. My blood runs deep here at CSDR. There's no other opportunity that I've had to go to another school. I've been here the entire time. Even though I live, you know, Starbucks is right around the corner, the labs are right around the corner. I mean, Riverside is amazing. Moving to Riverside is the best thing. This is my home away from home. Best place ever to be is here at CSDR. I've been involved in sports and organizations. For sports, I've been playing uh, basketball, baseball, and football. I'm also the vice president of student council. I wanted to share my favorite quote. Starting from when I was about three years old, my favorite thing is never give up. I know you've seen it over and over, but this quote really hits home for me. When I play in a basketball game or a tournament and I injure myself a variety of different things, you know how sports happens, you know, they tell me to go and play and I go and I play hard. At the end of the game, I feel like it's been worth it. It feels like I've earned it. Now with academics, if there's different essays or math or history or whatever needs to be done and I struggle with it, I overcome any obstacle. I don't want to see my grades drop, my parents would be mad. I want to see my grades increase to get to college. And I can keep going and I don't give up. Now coming in as a freshman, it's going to be insane. We had a football awards ceremony and they're talking about lighting a match under someone to encourage them and get everyone else fired up. Having everyone just hold on to each other for encouragement. Another bit of advice for all of my fellow students and also for the families here. Every single day, my father has told me the same thing. Is positive attitude will succeed. That really has accomplished a lot for me. I know it's, I'm, I'm a little nervous to be in high school, but I have to have faith that I will do well. And with that message from my father ingrained in me will really help. Even if it's map testing that I get nervous from, I have to make sure that I think of that positive attitude to, to be able to, to get into those good scores. Now from sixth grade, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been stressful. Going in from elementary to middle school, and then now getting into high school, and then now going into college. You're going to be nervous. So for sixth grade, I thought everything was going to be okay, but then COVID hit and shut the world down. So I missed my time, you know, for Catalina Island. I missed a lot of opportunities, and I didn't want that to happen, but I had to accept it. It was part of life. We had Zoom online classes, which was really tough. You know, a lot of times I would get a zero because of not paying attention to what, it, what the assignment was. We found out that we were going to be here in school instead of being online. But because of that positive attitude that was instilled, I was able to, to make it to where I am today, standing here on stage as an eighth grader talking to you today. It's been a rough journey, but I'm here. Now don't forget that pause. Positive attitude will succeed. Eighth graders, you ready for high school? Yeah? Let's see you nod your head there. I want to say thank you everyone for being here for us today and huge gratitude to all of my teachers. The teachers have really allowed us to have the knowledge to get into high school. You guys have made me been able to learn and improve in a variety of different ways. I mean, those ways are just numerous, obviously, but I've learned things from the teachers. So thank you very much to all of my teachers. I'd also say thank you to my cousin. He's been the best support for me. He's been the one that's been there to help, even if, you know, like learning how to ride a bike, he's been right there. Learning how to do something in school, he's been right there to give me advice. So I really appreciate him. So thank you to my cousins and my parents. I'm so thankful that I have my parents. They pick on me every single day because academics is important. They check every day. They have meetings constantly for me. Even though I'm not there, they have their heart and soul in my with, for my best interest. So, I really want to show my appreciation to my, my parents. Thank you so very much. I love you very much.